Welcome. In this playthrough Marvel Champions card game, we have Ant-Man and Wasp teaming up to take on Ultron. So for our setup, we have Ultron 2 and 3, uh, his second version, Schema 2, Attack of 2, with a fourth center up. When he attacks you, put the top card of your deck into play face down, engage with the other drone minion. Till the end of this attack, Ultron gets plus one attack for each drone minion engaged with you. And 22 health per player, so starting with 44. The Ultron drone's environment, each face down drone minion engaged with the player has a base scheme of one, attack of one, and hit points of one. Force response, after a face down drone minion is defeated, place that card in its owner's discard pile. Then our first of three main schemes, I said we're using two and three. We've got the expert cards in, Ultron, Standard, and Under Attack. We've got the environment in play. So threat of three per player, so six on this one. When revealed, each player puts a top card of their deck into play face down, engage with them as a drone minion. And we're bringing in Ant-Man, four to two, attack of one with two defense. Puny Pest, response, after you change to this form, remove a threat from a scheme, hand size of five on this side. Alter Ego, recovery of three, time to unwind. So response, after you change to this form, heal a damage from Scott Lang, hand size of six, 12 health, and then giant form, four to one, attack of three, defense of three, it's a giant nuisance. After you change to this form, deal one damage to an enemy, and a hand size of four on that side. Then for Nadia, Alter Ego form, Recovery 3. She's got her Girl Power with Action. Shuffle up to two cards with a printed re mental resource from your discard pile into your hand once per round. Hand size of 6, 11 hit points. Tiny form, Thwarter 1, Attack 1, 2, Defense. She's small but mighty as a response after a Wasp or an event you play. Defeats a minion or side scheme, deal one damage to the villain. Hand size of 5. And then her Giant form. Four to two, attack of two, defense of three. Her abilities for those powers. A threat you remove using your basic thwart power can be divided among schemes as you choose. Damage you deal using your basic attack power can be divided among enemies as you choose. And she's got a hand size of five on that side. All right, so finishing setup, shuffle our encounter deck. And for Nadia, shuffle her deck. First card is going to become a drone. See what we start with. Three, four, five, and six. Surprise attack, sting, strike, power of aggression, surprise attack, and spider girl. So I guess we'll keep spider girl on the power of aggression. Lots of cards get set up here. So relentless assault, giant help, rapid growth, and another giant help. None of those are a help right now. And for Scott Lang, final shuffle and a drone. He's got a giant stomp, power of justice, tactics, that's a keeper. Genius and Nick Fury, we'll keep those too. So giant strength. Wasp and Counterintelligence. So starting off, Nadia. Shuffle these two mental cards back into her deck here. We are going to flip to our tiny form. Do a Relentless Assault, dealing five damage to a minion. If you paid for this using a physical resource, it gets overkill. So this soaks up one, four breaks through. And after Wasp or an event you play, defeats a minion or side scheme, deal a damage to the villain, down to 39. Then we're gonna bring in Spider Girl. After she enters play, stun and confuse a minion. Don't think he's gonna live long enough, but We'll see if I changed my mind. Attack for two. Down to 37. Then yeah, we'll go ahead and swing for one to get rid of this. Under surveillance, so it'd have been nice to have to keep that in check. Scott Lang is gonna to change to giant form. 
After he does that, deal a damage to an enemy, down to 36. Then he's swinging for three, down to 33. Then Nick is coming in for four. We're gonna to choose to draw three cards with him. Daredevil, Iron Heart, and Energy. And he'll be swinging for two. And a 31. Then we're gonna play this. So we've got our team up, Ant-Man and Wasp. We're both on the board. Change to our other hero form and ready our hero. So we remove a threat from the scheme and then we're just gonna swing for one. Down to 30. Then we'll bring in counterintelligence. Uh, when any amount of threat would be placed on the main scheme, discard this, uh, prevent three of that threat. So it looked like a good turn. Got some allies out, but not set up with the ants and resources I'd hope to start with. We will go ahead and keep that and discarding there. So five cards, red room training, strength, into the fray, combat training, and wasp. Four more cards over here. Gauntlets, strength, quake, and a helicarrier. Ultron responds with two threats. Gonna attack over here. And I'm just gonna have Spider Girl jump in front of it. So base one, two, three, four, five damage. And then over on this side, Nick's jumping in front of that one for one, two, three, four. Ultron heals one damage for each grown minion engage with you. So up to 31. Oh, did forget that attacking. So down to 10, down to 11. And counter cards. Each player puts the top card of their deck into play face down, engage with them as a drone minion. And then Red Dreams, give to Nadia. She may flip to Alter Ego, she will. And exhaust her to remove this from the game. Nighty night. So for Ant-Man, we're bringing in a Helicarrier. It's an action exhaust out to choose a player, reduce the resource cost to the next card they play this phase by one. So we'll go ahead and play that on herself to bring in Ironheart. Three player from her hand, we draw a card. Finding some ants. Tacking for one. Fording for two. And over here, we'll see what kind of mental resources we have. Giant help. Two of those, shuffle those back in with our girl action there. We're gonna to flip to giant form. Bring in our red room training. If we're in giant hero form, we gain retaliate. If we're in tiny form, our basic attacks gain piercing. Then we're gonna bring in wasp. She enters play, place a pim counter on her for each energy resource we overpaid. So that'd be one. She's got a health of one. And just say she's there for defense. That's all we've got. So we're gonna keep combat training and army of ants. Drawing four, lay down the law, another army of ants and giant stomp and her helmet. Then four more cards on this side, Endurance, Thor, Quinn Carrier, and Lion Wait. So two threats. Attacking over here. Ironheart defends. Base four. Five damage. Then each of the ants attack, taking us down to nine. Or not ants, drones. Ants are our friends. All right, then on this side, Wasp defends for base five, eight. She didn't make it. Then each of these hit us for one each, so we're down to seven. But we retaliate on each of them. 
getting our cards back. Counter cards. Care for Cassie. All right, we're getting these out of the way quick. So we're going to flip to our alter ego and exhaust to remove it from the game. And an advanced Ultron drone. Schema one, attack one, four health, guard, and when he's defeated, we get another basic drone. Pass first player. So she's going to bring in the Quinn carrier. We're an Avenger, so play only if we have the Avenger trait. It's all set to generate a wild resource. And we'll use that for endurance to give us plus three hit points. Up to 10. Then we're going to attack for two, splitting that damage over on this side. Downtime and a resize comes back. Oh, I forgot when I flipped with him, he would have healed one. So we're going to use the Helicarrier, make our next card one cheaper to bring in our helmet. Hero response, after we change to giant form, we'll heal two damage. And after you change to tiny form, draw a card. We are going to change to tiny form, removing a threat and drawing a card. Then we're going to use counterintelligence to bring in another army of ants, or first army of ants. Attack for one. And that's going to end her turn. Keeping our other army of ants. So drawing five brawn, pin particles, rapid growth, tactics, and a giant help. And four cards over here, Spider-Man, the other Spider-Man, Pim Particles, and Running Interference. So we'll go up to three threats. Attacking on this side, we will defend. So base four, four damage. So we're going to take one, down to nine, retaliate for one, Taking one each from those down to seven. Retaliate to take care of that one. And put a damage back on that. Attack on this side. We get a friend. We're going to defend base three, four, five. Nice to see that go that direction. So we're taking three damage down to seven. And hit for one more. And encounter cards and hope we don't get attacked. Discard an upgrade or support you control. No cards were discarded this way. This card gained Surge. Well, guess we're losing uh, three hit points. And over here, Ultron's got some armor. So after he takes damage, give him in tough status. To get rid of it, exhaust a hero, spend two physical resources to discard it. So over here, we're going to bring in an army of ants. We're in tiny form, so we get to draw a card. Power of Justice. I'm going to use one ant to take care of the downtime. The other ant, put another damage over here. I'm going to flip to giant form, which deals the damage. And we heal for two, up to eight. We're going to bring in Miles Morales, Spider-Man, with the help of Spider-Man Peter Parker. We're going to choose Thwart to give him plus two to that chosen power, so he can come in and thwart for three. Then we're going to make the next card played over here, one cheaper. So we can play this for free, change to our other hero form and ready our hero. So we're ready in tiny form. Then we're gonna bring in Brawn using Pim Particles in our Quinn Carrier. So we're gonna draw a card, getting a Helicarrier, sweet. After Brawn attacks, remove a threat from a scheme. Well, he's just gonna attack here, getting our helmet back. No threat to remove. We are going to flip to Alter Ego, see what we have to put back in our deck. 
That doesn't go there. So we're gonna go with tactics and a strike. And then heal for three, up to seven. And we'll keep the helicarrier. And ready everything. So four cards on this side, running interference, giant strength, running interference, and pin particles. Five more cards on this side, Ant-Man, strike into the fray, another strike, and tactics. So two threat, attacking over here. I think we're just going to defend. So base three, we'll take one and get hit for one more. And scheming on this side for base two, just two. So it takes it up to four. And counter cards. Each player puts the top card of their deck into play as a drone. Then the drones just got stronger. So we can discard one of each resource to get rid of that, which I'm gonna do pretty quick, hopefully. Pass first player. So using her action again. Uh, shuffling those back in her deck. Gonna heal for three up to 10. Attack for one. Getting Tigra, remove a threat. We'll bring in our own Helicarrier, using that to pay for it. Make our next card one cheaper. Well, hold on, yeah, make our next card one cheaper. We're gonna flip to Tiny Form. Then this gets played for free. Got our team up going on, change to our other hero form and ready our hero. And then we can attack for two, split. Now there's our other ants. We are gonna to flip to our tiny form, removing a threat. Spider-Man will attack, or fort to remove one. Oh, we switched to Tiny Form, so we also drew a card into Mockingbird. Then we're going to spend one of each resource. And with this, we're also going to draw another card. So the drones are back to normal. Well, actually, I guess those two drones we killed over here would have went down to one health. Now they would have died. And we get a Hive Mind. Make your next card one cheaper. Bringing in Mockingbird, so she's going to stun an enemy. And Thwart for one. So he stunned, took care of that. Our first stance going to go to Ultron, take him down to 29, making him tough. And then the second ant will get rid of toughness. And end her turn. Over here, I'm going to keep both of those, hoping to get those off next turn. So drawing three into the fray, endurance and a sting. And on this side, drawing two, Agent Colson and resize. We get in a counter card and do some shuffling. We got three cards coming back to us. Right down the law, giant stomp, and a resize. So two threats. Goes to attack, lose stunned. Then attacks over here. Uh, Spider-Man jumps in the way. So one, two, three, four, five damage. Then we get hit for one. 
And encounter cards. The villain schemes. So base two, do one damage to each character you control. And two's not going to trigger it, so we're good with that. Ultron's Imperative. The first player puts the top two cards with their deck into play face down and gauge with them as drone minions. We get four threats. And now he's got Retaliate. Exhaust two heroes, spend two energy resources to get rid of this. Pass first player. So we are going to change to our giant form, dealing a damage. We're then gonna resize, change to our other hero form and draw a card. Removing a threat. And drawing into pin particles. Ants, take care of these. Oh, and I forgot I changed to giant form up to seven. Change back to that form. Draw another card in the genius. Got to remember that helmet. Then we're going to resize again. Change to our other form and draw a card. So that is going to deal a damage up here, which makes him tough. We heal two, up to nine. We're drawing a card into under surveillance. And we're gonna lay down the law. After you change form, remove three threat from a scheme. Four, if you paid for this using a mental resource, which we are, and we're gonna heal two damage. So we'll remove all that. Go up to 11. Make your next card one cheaper. To bring in Agent Coulson, he gets to go looking for a preparation card. Get counterintelligence again. Then we're gonna use those to bring in under surveillance to increase the target threat value of the main scheme by four, letting that go up to 10. Then Coulson thwarts for two, she thwarts for one to get rid of the imperative. Both take a damage. And I think that's enough for Ant-Man. So Braun. Or retaliate a problem. And so is that armor. But I don't have physical, so we're going to exhaust two energy resources to get rid of the blasters. So it doesn't have retaliate anymore. So Braun will attack to get rid of toughness. Make our next card one cheaper. Gonna play Pinpoint Strike with the Quinn Carrier. And yes, I know it could do more damage if I was in tiny form, but I like retaliating on small drones. So dealing seven damage to an enemy, down to 21. End her turn. So we'll keep this in hand, drawing four more on this side. Nick, another strike, power of aggression, and wasp. Four cards on this side, strength, iron heart, lay down the law, and Spider-Man. So two threats. Attacking on this side, Mockingbird defends. So one, two, three, four, five. And that guy hits for one. Attacking on this side, Braun defends for 
five. And we get attacked with that and retaliate. Counter cards. So now he's got a transmitter. After he schemes, place a threat on each side scheme. Exhaust your heroes, spending two mental resources. And then the villain attacks you. So we get a drone. And I'll defend. So base three, four, five. So a block three, down to six, retaliate for one, and he's tough. All right, first player moves. I'm gonna request an action from over here. Exhaust, two physical resources, get rid of the armor. Make your next card one cheaper. Bringing in Nick Fury, yeah, that's expensive. With the Quinn Carrier, drawing three cards. Surprise attack, Mockingbird, and some wings. Nick, let's see. Quest in action from the ants to take care of toughness. Oops, nope, can't do it. Wrong form. In that case, Nick's attacking to get rid of toughness. Gonna bring in Wasp with two energy resources there since she's aggressive. Aggressive, get her two Counter, she's going to attack for three. Take him down to 17. We'll play this to make her next card one cheaper. To bring in Mockingbird to stun an enemy. Then she'll take out one of these drones. Colson thwarts for two. We're going to flip to tiny form, removes a threat, but we draw a card into pin particles. Then we'll play Ironheart, which allows us to draw a card, and pin particles allows us to draw another card. So drawing two. Brisk Gauntlets and Wasp. And attacking for one. Do I have the right cards in there? All right. Now our ants can do a damage each, down to 15. And we'll go ahead and bring in some risk gauntlets. So it's a hero action if we're in giant hero form. Exhaust this, spend two physical resources to stun an enemy. If we're in tiny form, exhaust this and two energy resources to confuse an enemy. And Ender Turn. So we're getting an engine built, so I guess it's time to start doing something. We'll go ahead and discard that. So we're drawing five. First we draw one, and a counter card, and do some shuffling. So four more cards coming our way. Two power of aggressions, rapid growth, and a giant help. And on this side, giant strength, running interference, tactics, power of justice, and daredevil. Two threats. Goes to attack, lose stun, and then attacking over here. Ironheart jumps in the way. For base one, two, three, six. And counter cards. 
All right, dealing damage to each friendly character. That, I hate that card. So that takes Wasp out. Nick Fury takes damage, but he's going away in a bit anyway. Down to five, down to nine, and Coulson is out. Then we get a drone, a big one, and evasive AI. Each player discards top three cards of their deck. I get six on it. So running interference, strength, and stomp. I can live with those. Strike, endurance, and particles. Those three would have been nice. Pass. Nick decides to take walk. All right, so Ant-Man. Fording for two. We'll try to bring that down a little bit. Then one ant goes here, one over there. We've got our team up going on, so we change to our other form and ready our hero, which heals us two up to 11 and does a damage. Then we'll take our free change form back to Ant-Man, removing a threat. Drawing a card. And we'll thwart for two. And we'll bring in Daredevil for four. After he thwarts, deal a damage to an enemy. So he's gonna thwart for two. Dealing a damage there. Actually, no, we won't have him thwart. We'll just have him attack into Ultron. Then we'll go ahead and have Wasp finish this drone off, which gets us a tinier drone. Make our next card one cheaper. Use some giant help, removing four threat from schemes as we desire. And Ender Turn. So we're gonna discard one card over here. So drawing three more, Surprise Attack, a Sting, and a Pinpoint Strike. We'll go ahead and keep that. So drawing four more, Nick, Army of Ants, Energy, and Power of Justice. Get two Threat. Getting attacked over here. Ant-Man is going to defend. So one, two, three, three damage. We'll take one. Then get hit for another one from the drone. Then on this side, Mockingbird's going to defend. So four, five damage. And then the two drones hit for one each. And we retaliate on both of those. And counter cards. Each player puts, and we're all getting drones again. And exhaust your identity and surge. Ultron heals two damage for each drone minion engaged with you. So that could have been worse. 15. We do get an acceleration token. All right, get that shuffled up. Pass first player. So she's gonna start with a sting. We're in giant form, so we can deal a total of four damage divided among enemies as we choose. So one, two, three, and four. Then we're gonna strike, dealing seven damage to an enemy with the help of the Quinn Carrier. Down to seven health. Then we've got to recover eventually. So we'll use her ability and 
I'm going for Genius and Nick Fury. Give that a shuffle. We'll make the next card we play over here one cheaper, bringing in some ants, using those for three damage, taking them down to four. Daredevil will thwart for two, dealing a damage, down to three. We're gonna bring in Nick Fury and use his ability to draw three cards. Draw one. Drawing into a downtime and shuffling. So we've got two more cards coming. Spider-Man and a Giant Stomp. We're gonna make our next card one cheaper. Downtime, cause she needs it. Nick is gonna attack for two. Take an Ultron down to one. Then we're going to flip to giant form, dealing a damage, taking him down to zero, and we heal two up to 11. All right, so the next version, 27 per player, so it's 54 health. Our drones are now plus one attack and plus one hit point. Search the encounter deck and discard pile for his imperative side scheme, reveal it, and shuffle the encounter deck. There, we've got that. And that's gonna give the first player two drones. And four threat. So we get three here. Ultron's gonna scheme for three. And after he schemes, we place a threat on each side scheme. So scheming for one, two, three, just three. Oh, I guess before we go to that phase, I can draw some cards and ready at least. Getting excited, got Ultron to the next phase. So we are going to, yeah, keep all those. Uh, no, not we're in, we're in that form. Giant Stomp goes away. Wasp, Pin Particles, and Running Interference. And over here, six cards, Rapid Growth, Tigra, Tactics, Genius, Relentless Assault, and Combat Training. All right, so back to where we really are. We did that, attacking over here. Doesn't get friends anymore. So Nick will defend a base four. Just four damage. These drones did scheme, sorry, a little out of order. It happens. So I got his activations taken care of and counter cards. Shadows of the past, that's one we didn't want to see. But everyone else probably did because we get to see the new cards. So we're getting the Beetle. Schema one, attack of one, four health, guard. When he's defeated, choose to either spend a physical resource or shuffle him back into the counter deck. Uh, side scheme. It's an additional cost for each hero to make a basic attack. That hero must spend one of any resource. Then we'll shuffle these three into our encounter deck. And invasive AI, each player discards the top three cards of their deck. Goodness. Into the fray, lion weight, and some wings. Energy, a resize, and Jessica Jones. And lastly, Rage of Ultron. 
Ultron attacks you, discard the top card of your deck for each damage dealt by this attack. Nope. Daredevil's jumping in front of that. Base four, choose to either spend a physical resource or put the top card of your deck into play face down as a drone. And Wasp is gonna be that physical resource. And he was dealt one damage. So we discard one card. And pass first player. Man, things went bad. So we are going to flip to our tiny form, removing a threat from a scheme. Then two of the ants will take care of one of these. The other ant will put a damage on that one. And we'll just put it on that one. Gonna make a next card one cheaper. To bring in Spider-Man choosing Thwart, and we're gonna get to draw a card. Getting a running interference. So thwarting for three, thwarting for two. We're done over here. Nadia. Let's see, we've got a sting. Some help. We're going two pinpoint strikes. Shuffle those back in. Then recovering for five, up to eight health. We will flip over to tiny form. Make our next card one cheaper. So we've got our team up going on. Change to our other form and ready our hero. Actually, no, I wanted to flip to that form to start with, then back to tiny form with that card. Then I'm gonna thwart using a rapid growth Paying the Quinn Carrier, when you use one of your basic powers, change your giant hero form to get plus two for that power. So we're gonna have a thwart of four that we can divide how we want. And I'm gonna start working on this invasive AI. Then we'll bring in Tigra and have her attack to get rid of a drone. She heals the damage but doesn't have any, then she takes the damage. Ending her turn. So like I said, we've got eight out of 10 there. So we are going to, yeah, we'll go ahead and, well, it's about damage. We'll pitch that drawing five genius, Spider-Man, a giant stomp, iron heart and running interference. We're gonna keep the Relentless Assault. So four more, Strength, Nick Fury, Relentless Assault, and Thor. Start a turn, we go to put three on there. We will prevent that. So attacking over here for four, we're gonna just take it. So four, going down to seven. Then attacking over here, She's gonna defend. So four damage coming in, we take one and retaliate for one. And then this guy hits us for one and we retaliate. And counter cards, oops, plus one. Because of the invasive AI, each drone minion engaged with your hero attacks, none were made. We're gonna put one into play. And discard an upgrade or support you control. It's gotta be downtime. Even though we're hurting. So 
I have to think that was his. And he's got his armor back. Annoying. Pass first player. We're going to make your next card one cheaper. Bringing in Nick Fury to draw three cards. Strike, a giant help, and her helmet. We are going to attack for two here to get rid of Beetle. Not losing a resource who gets shuffled back in. Actually, that was stupid. I would have tacked with Tigra. So she would have healed and then taken the damage. That way Nick can thwart for two to get rid of this thing. Then we're going to flip to Tiny Form. Do a pinpoint strike with the Quinn Carrier. So it's going to deal eight damage and we have overkill. So two gets, um, so how I want to do this. Yeah, I guess it doesn't matter. So two gets soaked up here, six breaks through down to 47. Of course, he can't take damage while the drone minion is in play. So the drone was defeated first, then the overkill went in. And in case I'm wrong in the way that works, I could have used him to kill the drone and then him to thwart for two later. So it would all still work out. So over here, we're in tiny form. Three ants, three damage, down to 44. I'm gonna make our next card one cheaper. Giant Stomp, deal one damage to each minion, eight damage to an enemy. No minions. So down to 36. We'll go running interference. Move two threat from a scheme, remove X additional from the main scheme to a maximum of three where X is equal to the villain stage number. So we're moving five threat. Then thwart for two. And I think I've been missing the tough thing. So no one, she attacked for all that damage, it would have been tough. So then I would have had Spider-Man attack to get rid of toughness and then done his giant stomp. So I think that fixes it. So that's kind of a annoying thing to keep up, keep track of. So hopefully that's right. Ready everything up. I'm keeping Thor, drawing four more, surprise attack, surprise attack, brawn, and into the fray. Over here, hive mind, power of justice, agent Coulson, a resize, and power of justice. So get three threats, six out of 10. Attacking over here, defending with him. So five damage. Attacking over here, defending with Spider-Man. Choose to either spend a mental resource or we get a minion. All right, we'll spend that as a mental. Counter cards. Ultron heals two damage for each drone. If no damage was healed this way, surge. We've got a drone and the villain attacks you. And we'll defend. So base four, do one damage to each character you control. So there's the one damage, defended two of that. So down to four health and pass first player. So we're gonna to change to giant form. Dealing a damage and healing two. Then we're gonna resize, change to our other form and draw a card. So, oops. That allows us to remove a threat. We 
We draw a card for resize. We draw a card for our helmet. We're going to use our ants to take out this guy. It's another baby out there. Make our next card one cheaper. Bring out Colson. Go looking for a preparation card. Counterintelligence. And just for the fun of it, shuffle the deck. He will thwart for two. I'm going to use tactics, change to our hero, other hero form and ready. So we're giant form and ready, dealing a damage. Except he's got two health. Going to exhaust our hero, spending two physical resources. And we're also going to heal to damage. To get rid of the armor, finally. Then Wasp, Tiger is going to take this one out. Heal, take the damage. Make our next card one cheaper, bringing in Thor with that in the Quinn Carrier. She enters play, three damage to the villain. And then attack for two, so a total of five, down to 31. Then we're going to switch to giant form. With a surprise attack, after you change form, deal four damage if we paid for this using a physical resource. Down to 27. Then attacking for two. Down to 25. End her turn. Go ahead and discard Brawn. So drawing five cards here. One, two, three, four, and five. Got a Strike, Spider Girl, Sting, Pin Particles, and Energy. It's a good damage hand. That card doesn't belong in there. And four cards on this side. Downtime, Strength, Lay down the law and giant strength. So three threat, eight out of 10. Tacking over here. Colson's gonna take it. So four, flip the right cards, just four damage. Tacking over here. We're gonna defend. Four. Deal one damage to each character you control. So we're taking one and retaliating for one, down to 24. And counter cards. Got a drone. The player puts the top card of their deck in play as a drone. And Ultron attacks you, discard the top card of your deck for each damage dealt by this attack. Well, Thor's going to defend on this one. Four, five, Ultron heals one damage for each drone engaged with us, up to 25. He's dealing two damage, so we discard two cards. There goes Nick, there goes Ant-Man. Pass first player. So Tiger does what she does. Two damage, takes out this drone. She heals one, takes a damage. Make her next card one cheaper. Bring in Spider Girl. Actually, before we do that, we're gonna flip to Tiny Form. So we can draw a card, even though healing would have been nice. So drawing the wasp, stuns and confused a minion, tax for two. Go 
going to do a wasp sting. For a tiny form, we deal five damage to an enemy. We're going to use that to help pay for it. Which takes care of him, but brings out another one. Then we're going to bring the other wasp out. She's going to get two health. And attack for three to take care of this drone. Gonna make our next card one cheaper. We're gonna to flip to tiny form. Actually, before we flip, we will attack for three. Down to 22. Then flip, removing a threat. Drawing a card and to lay down the law, which we're going to use as a resource to pay for our other lay down the law. After you change form, remove four threat from a scheme if we paid using a mental resource. Ants for three, down to 19. Then I'm going to bring in downtime over here with the strength, and I should have played that earlier when I was in giant form. Not gonna take that one back. Been doing too many mistakes as it is. So drawing five, into the fray, relentless assault, pin particles, strike, and power of regression. We're keeping that, drawing one into a mockingbird, getting in a counter card and shuffling. We got three more cards coming to us. Nick Fury, Quake, and Agent Coulson. So three threat, six out of 10. This thing is awesome. So he's attacking over here. Spider Girl jumps in front of that one for six damage. Attacking over here. Even though that's three attack. Yeah, we're gonna defend. So four, five, six damage. So we end up taking four down to four health. Get some encounter cards for Wasp. Each player puts the top card of their deck into play, has a drone minion. And we place a threat here for every drone in play. That's getting six. Let's see, Surge, so that's getting us two more encounter cards, basically. Beetle attacks you with plus one attack. If he can't, gain Surge. Same thing. We're under attack. Each player chooses to either place two threat here or deal three damage to their hero. I think we're giving up on threat. So seven. And then we add, yeah, four thread on each side skin. So all out attack from here on out then. So ants for two. Make our next card one cheaper. So bringing in Nick Fury and He'll have us draw three cards. Spider-Man, Counterintelligence, and Downtime. Then he's going to attack for two. Ants for one damage, down to 18. Bring in Spider-Man, giving him plus two to his attack. Swinging for four. Down to 14. Make your next card one cheaper. Play strike with the Quinn Carrier, Pim Particles. So we'll get to draw a card to a Wasp Sting, dealing eight damage. Down to six. And then Wasp in tiny form, dealing five damage to an enemy. Down to one health. 
Then we're going to flip over to Giant Form and swing for two for a little bit of overkill. So yeah, I know there was a few mistakes there, but being that we are still on the first scheme, I don't think it would have mattered if I would have missed one of the toughness here or there. So Wasp and Ant-Man, pretty good team up. And for deck construction with Ant-Man going Justice, two Power of Justice under Surveillance which if you get out early enough can be key. You got three lay down the laws, three running interference, then allies, Quake, Spider-Man, Daredevil, Jessica Jones, Agent Coulson, and then two counterintelligence. So I kind of was planning to keep that first scheme out as long as possible. So our basic card, strength, genius, energy, helicarrier, uh, swarm tactics, Two downtimes, Mockingbird, Nick Fury, Spider-Man, and Ironheart. And Wasp Aggression, two Power of Aggressions, three Relentless Assault, two Surprise Attacks, two Into the Fray, Combat Training, Lie in Wait, Tigra, Wasp, Spider-Girl, Thor, Brawn, and the Hulk. And Basic Cards, got her three resources, Helicarrier, Quinn Carrier, Swarm Tactics, Mockingbird, Nick Fury, and Two Endurance. And the reason why I put Two Endurance in here was to help with Wasp, which is why I've got the two downtimes in with Ant-Man. So that's my deck construction for going up against Expert Ultron. As always, I hope you enjoyed this playthrough. So please click on the like button down below and be sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching.